Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Aquarius, we're doing your reading. This is going to be for 2022. So we're just checking in to see what might be coming in for you for the whole year coming up. This is going to be a general message. And it might not all happen right at the beginning of January. This could be something that's uh, spread out throughout the year. But we're going to pick up on the major energies that's going to be playing out for you for next year. This is Dragon Blood Sage to help cleanse the energy and the cards. All these cards are pre-shuffled between the readings, so I will not be shuffling during the reading. We're going to start with your soul and spirit messages. Oh, that was hot. Soul and spirit messages. I'm using my um, Starseed Tarot Oracle deck. Starseed Oracle deck. And then the Elemental Oracle deck. And then also the Dream, Shaman's Dream Oracle deck for your spirit messages. Water your garden. Nourishment, body care, and tenderness. Rest. So that's your first message. That's the action under the deck. And what came out? High race. Longing for home. Homesick for the stars. So somebody could just uh, be nurturing themselves right now. Wanting to take care of themselves. Feeling homesick. Maybe your soul is uh, longing for something that's real. Um... And something that's less superficial, less superficial. Maybe you're being guided to take care of yourself at this time. Bottom of the deck, earth. Maybe you're being guided to take care of the earth at this time. And then we got atoms. Definitely getting that somebody needs to be taking care of themselves. Nurturing themselves to the current core, eating better. that okay so we got fools embrace that one wanted to flip mini mask hmm one more spirit at the bottom of the deck will o the wasp Will O the Wisp, I can't read. <laughs> Will O the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these cards I have not seen before, so y'all gotta bear with me because I don't know. And then Woods Wives, adaptability. That came out for Taurus too. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that somebody's been trying many different things here, maybe multiple partners, um, something like that, but it's saying like you need to take a break, you need to take some time out to water your own garden, care and nurture for yourself, maybe do some grounding, um, there's a lot of sense of home here, maybe somebody's wanting to return to their hometown, maybe they're missing people from their hometown. Maybe things are just happening too fast. Hold on. Yep, somebody definitely needs to be like working on themselves here, like figuring out what it is and who they are, putting that effort into themselves. 
there's a message about home or something to do with home. We're going to get into it. I think that there's something that somebody needs to start exploring within themselves and they're going to find maybe in their shadow self. Maybe there needs to be some shadow work done here. Um, yeah, with this mask. Like, you can't hide your dislikes or discomforts. You need to embrace those and start looking into those. What's hurting you? What hurt you? What has hurt you in the past? Identifying those things. Can a turtle yawn underwater? I'm just trying to figure that out. You want more food? Oh my God, this turtle does not stop. Like, dude, quit being greedy. Oh, if she don't eat those, I'm gonna knock her out. <laughs> Ollie, eat that food. I'm sorry, you guys, okay. Yeah, she opens her mouth really wide when she wants me to feed her. <laughs> I've been feeding her all day though. Anyways, since I'm in love. Mm. Okay, I want to get into this more. So let's let's clarify. Let's, what else is going on? Well, not clarify, but we're just going to get the rest of the story here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins. Well, I don't want to flip it out. Ten of Swords. Wow, I was feeling like there was some type of hurt or pain here. Page of Cups, even some type of jealousy. Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's longing for home, home. Somebody doesn't feel at home somewhere. And maybe they're not speaking up about it. Two of Swords. Nine of Cups. Death card. Yeah. Yeah, definitely transitioning, transmuting. There's a lot happening. Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody feels like their wants and needs are not being recognized or recognized, acknowledged. That's the word I was looking for. But I feel like maybe you're not putting your wants and needs out there to be acknowledged or maybe you're not being authentic about what it is that you want or need. You got two messages about home. One is like being homesick. Okay, what else? What are the other messages? There is a wish fulfilled here, or will be, or is wanting to be. That's the center of the spread. I think it will be. We got the Queen of Cups. Oh, Three of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's not being honest about what they want. This could be in a relationship. This could be in a home situation. Maybe somebody doesn't want to live with somebody or live the way that somebody wants to live. But, like, they're not making their needs apparent like they're hiding behind something and with this uh water your own garden it's like you can't live to make somebody else happy if it's not what you want eventually you're going to get sick of it like you're not going to even be able to tolerate it no more like if you go into something with a mask on and you know not really identifying what it is that you truly want out of the situation of course it's not going to work out to your advantage let's get your outcome whoa Nine of Earth, 
seven of earth. Okay, so somebody might want to build something on their own or do something on their own first, live on their own first before they commit to moving in or being with somebody else. We got justice in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Who's reading that I just use questions? Anyway, let me put this over here. We got justice, and I know you guys can't see those over there too well, but I'm gonna uh, bring the camera down so you guys can see them. And this is your advice. Abundance, so something abundant is gonna be coming in. Here. Oh, ask your angels and compromise. So yeah, you might have to compromise in a situation. I think that maybe you're afraid that somebody else won't compromise, reconsider. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely something you need to reconsider. And I feel like that's not speaking up about your needs. All right, I'm gonna be clarifying with the um, Luna Somnia deck. Moon Sleep deck. Somebody might have wanted something here and thought they wanted something, thought it was a wish come true, but their their wants and desires and needs are starting to trend, change. Like, it's not the same as it once was. Maybe this person didn't want to accept this, didn't want to see it, or just blatantly ignored that their wishes and desires were starting to change. Somebody could be feeling betrayed or backstabbed by somebody who was being jealous. Or maybe somebody was taking too long to make a decision about something that's made someone feel betrayed. So this is what's coming in in 2022. All right, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. Allow me to intermingle with these energies with your protection. Allow me to observe, not absorb. Allow me to clearly see the messages, say what I need to say. See what I need to see with unbiased. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to pull one card for your uh, soul messages just to really see what they're talking about. So fool's embrace is clarified by the two of pentacles. transmuting pain so there's definitely something i feel like that you stepped into maybe this year that in the upcoming year in 2022 you're gonna realize like okay dang i was a little bit uh, maybe i rushed into something or maybe i didn't maybe i wasn't honest about what i really wanted and i just accepted what was there or embraced what was there and now there's regret maybe you couldn't decide and you just chose what somebody else wanted that's what I'm getting here. It was like you were allowing somebody to make a decision for you. Could have been a mother. Could have been somebody you live with. And we got the Ten of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Mini Mask. We got the Six of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we got the, ten of, the Two of Pentacles. Which I just had that out. Weird. The authentic self. So, yeah. There's something that somebody's wanted since a kid, but they're like hiding that now. Or maybe somebody's not being true to themselves, their new selves. This looks like a child, too. I don't know if you guys can see that close up. This card just looks weird in, in its entirety. In its entirety. Yeah, I'm getting something with the inner child here. Like, somebody's not... And this is helping me clarify that. Like, somebody's not embracing what it is that they truly want. And maybe when they were a child, they were afraid to speak up about what they wanted. And this is also translating into their adult life. Woods, wives, what is this about? Okay, come on. 
these nail things do help me pick up the cards. I don't know why I'm playing with them. Three of Swords. So we got Woods Wives and the Three of Swords. Where else did we have? Three of Swords is right down here too. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. So you got the Three of Swords twice. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all look at this a little bit more. This could be a connection that you were dealing with. Every time I see that card, I'm getting like somebody's for the streets. That's what I'm getting, a hermit at the bottom of the deck. Mm. I'm just gonna leave that. I feel like with this Willow of the Wisp card, like whenever you start embracing your shadow self, your inner self, the things that you don't want to say or let be known to other people, I think that's when things are gonna start moving for you. I feel like that's when you'll be happier. Okay, let's do our clarification of what's going on in the 3D. This is the 4D and 5D of what's happening with your soul and on an energetic level, spiritual level. Let's get into the 3D and see what's happening. Here in your energy coming up for 2022, Spirit Guides. We got Temperance with the Knight of Pentacles, which is um, both speaking about time, duration, something um, requiring patience, taking a while. It might be taking a while for somebody to find their authentic self. Like, so I'm getting like some wishy washy energy here. Like, damn, wasn't that your last reading? <laughs> I swear to God, that's what I put on y'all last readings, Aquarius. Wishy washy ass. Mm, mm, mm. We got the star at the bottom of the deck. Mm. So, what is it that you're not deciding about? You're not deciding about what it is that you really want. Or you're not deciding about what somebody else is offering you. What, what is happening here? We got the strength card flipping out. Okay, so obviously this is something that's been really hard, been really difficult to endure. Somebody feels like betrayed by a lot of people here. This could be causing some closed offness or somebody taking a long time just to decide what it is that they really want. Somebody's trying to get, I wanna say organized in their feelings, <laughs> get their feelings together. Somebody can't decide how they really feel about something. They feel betrayed, but. Hmm. Maybe there's still some love there for somebody Maybe somebody just doesn't know how to feel about a situation. They don't want to say how they truly feel about a situation. There's still some jealousy lingering around the situation. Show me this page of cups, Queen of Swords. Okay, so. This goes back to that child energy I was saying before. Somebody's not able to decide or make a, use their discernment because of their jealousy. Somebody's not seeing something clearly, but they're hiding it. They're not being truthful about what it is that they want or how they really feel. Maybe somebody wants to end something or cut something off, but because of some type of wounding, they can't. What's at the bottom of the deck? We got the Hierophant in the reverse. Somebody's definitely not connecting to their spirit, to, them, to their higher self, to their truth, to their authenticity. Somebody could be getting advice from family as well, mother, siblings. 
Show me the two of swords. There's something that someone's not seeing clearly. Ten of cups. They want something so bad. They feel like something is so meant for them that they're not seeing how maybe it's changing them or not allowing them growth. I'm not allowing them to be who they truly need to be. Not allowing them to nurture and water themselves. Mm. Okay, we got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This could definitely be a mother figure or a divine counterpart. Let's keep going. What is this nine of cups? We got the hangman. Yeah, somebody's stuck on a childhood wish or something that they had in childhood and they're not letting it go. They're refusing to see that this is not what they want anymore. Devil in reverse. Weird, this is weird. This wish has transformed into something totally different, but they're not letting it go because some childish, something childish is happening here. And the devil in reverse with the uh, page of swords, The this ain't the truth. This ain't your truth. The ace of swords is in reverse. Somebody's not speaking their truth. Somebody has like some obsession that they're not letting go of and it's an old wish that they had we got the nine and ten of cups of how family should be or what they wanted in a family <clears throat> or with somebody that they wanted to create a family with they're refusing to accept or say i don't feel like they're not accepting it i feel like they're just not saying to somebody that this is not what they want anymore Let's keep going. Show me this death card. Maybe I'm off, but I'm, this is what I'm getting. King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, as you guys know, is my uh, husband of the tarot. He's also stable, looking for something long term. Um, he, he, he has the bag, you know, he has his money in order, but the, the, most important thing is that he has the ability to go for a long time, to stay stable, to be a companion, to be a father, to, you know, do the things that need to be done to continue on, longevity. He has that. He possesses that. He has all those tools. He's the king of pentacles. But we got the death card. So somebody doesn't want to be this. They thought that this was going to make them happy. They wished for this. But spirit was like, eh, eh, hold up, time out. Look at this, look at this. Look at this in a different way. Get a different perspective. The tower. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't make it up if I tried. Seven of cups. Yeah, somebody's living in an illusion that's about to break down. Somebody's living in an illusion that is about to break down. The tower and the seven of cups. Show me this Queen of Cups. What is she doing here? Queen of Cups is a nurturer. It could be a dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this person could just be very emotional or tender in their feelings. Or this could be you. Somebody might not be saying something because they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. The lovers. <laughs> How did I know? Ace of Cups. There is real true love here. I feel it. But it's like somebody doesn't want something. I don't know what it is. Like they don't want the happy family, the white picket fence, or I don't know. Maybe that's not their wish or dream anymore. Maybe they're just not ready for that right now. I, I'm not. Yeah, maybe that's what this temperance is. Maybe they're like, well, I want to take my time in doing this because I've been hurt before. You know, I have to repair and heal myself. But then we got the King of Pentacles here too. 
and the implant. Maybe somebody wants to, you know, make their fortune first or, you know, get it stable first before they commit to something. I mean, it's three of swords, the star. We got the star. Let me move this stuff up a little bit so you guys can see these. See, we got that 10 of pentacles in reverse. That's letting me know somebody doesn't want something for the long term right now. Could just be right now, might not be forever. This could definitely be a relationship. A home life, a family life. Maybe they thought they wanted that, but things are changing. Two of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. They don't wanna have to juggle or struggle things. Somebody might just want to be free right now oh they're scared that somebody's gonna feel abandoned because they don't want this uh longevity with them ten of wands in reverse somebody doesn't want to bring a whole bunch of burdens down on somebody or to someone three of wands someone doesn't want to wait Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Somebody wants to hurry up and do something. Somebody could be wanting to hurry up and rush into a marriage. Or rush into a domesticated life and somebody else is like, no, that's not my truth anymore. I don't want that anymore. I thought that's what I wanted, but shit just got real. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and bring you down aquarius so that we can go ahead and see um what's going on what else is going on over here for you let me see let me see let me see yeah, i still can't see those let me bring it down a little bit more a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we can pretty much still see everything pretty good. Well, now we can't see those. Okay, we can pretty much see. Okay, so we got the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Earth, Seven of Earth, Page of water and then justice in reverse here and then I'm gonna just scoot these over everything's already messed up so might as well <laughs> scoot on over scoot 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 All right, let's clarify this line of earth. So that's where I'm getting that singleness from. Like maybe somebody just wants to build their wealth up, do their own thing, become more self-aware, you know, find out who they really are before they jump into something. Maybe that's what this person is struggling with. Aquarius, I feel like this is you. We got the Empress in reverse again. There's some type of mother figure or something here that's like not helping the situation. <laughs> We got the chariots, like, yeah, somebody. <laughs> there could be somebody wanting to travel here. They want to be successful before anything else. That's what I'm getting. Show me the seven of earth. Knight of swords. Somebody might have already spoken this truth and it might not have been uh, accepted well. We got the two of wands in the reverse. Again, it's like maybe they haven't chose the path yet. Maybe they're like, oh, I'm still thinking about it. I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm not sure. Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody wants to be free. King of Wands. Yeah. All right, show me this page of water. We got the page of water twice. Page of Cups twice. Eights of Cups. Eight of 
Okay, yeah, somebody's just inexperienced here in love. They don't know what they want. They thought they wanted one thing. They thought they wanted it one way. And then we have justice in reverse here. Somebody could be trying to give somebody karma here too. Okay, with the angel answer, somebody definitely wants to work on their money. Somebody needs to do some deep searching, soul searching here. What's at the bottom of the deck? The hermit in reverse. Okay, so that's telling me that somebody's not doing the work, doing the soul searching, but they need to because a compromise has to be reached here. There's no justice in the situation. Something's not fair. And I feel like it's not fair because somebody's not speaking what it is that they truly want out of a situation. So in order to compromise, you need to reconsider what it is that you're doing or saying to somebody. You need to set things right, make things fair. Because it's not fair to, you know, <clears throat> lead somebody on. And that's what I'm getting here because you can't decide. All right, Aquarius, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with, but make sure you guys hit that like button. I wish you the best on this situation. Comment down below if you want to add anything to the story or speak on it. I will be uh, glad to communicate back with you. Um, and make sure if you're vibing, you subscribing. All right, I will see you guys next time.